it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I'm going to teach you how to set up a loan. So a couple weeks ago, I taught you guys how to apply your payments. If you're going to need that because you haven't watched it first and you're setting up your loan, I will put up above, I'll put a little link for a suggested video and in the comments down below, and you can go watch that to see how to apply your payment after you set up your loan. All right, so the first step is we're going to go into the list, chart of accounts. I want you to think about what actually happened when you bought the vehicle, the piece of a property. I want you to think about what you did to get the loan. Did you put money down? Did you get 100% financing? Have you had this vehicle or property for a period of time? So all you're going to enter in is the loan because the money that came out of the bank was a long time ago. So those are factors to think about as I'm showing you what to do. You know me, I like to teach you guys mindset. So what I do typically is I set up a main category called vehicles. And then below that, I'll set up the actual vehicle. So for my example, I'm going to purchase a Toyota Tundra. And then I have accumulated depreciation from a previous video that I showed you guys. So what we're going to do is you're going to need to set up. If you recently purchased the vehicle, you're going to want to set up a the vehicle, the asset that you bought, and you're going to want to set up the loan. So I'm going to go in and show you how to set up a loan. If you want to know how I set up the vehicle, what I did is I had the main category vehicle, subcategory, Toyota Tundra, it's a fixed asset. So that's the amount I bought the vehicle for, especially if you're starting from the beginning. I'm going to click on loan, which is a liability, and I'm going to type in Toyota Tundra. And loan. The other thing you could do is if you was able to get the loan through a particular bank, you could have like B of A loan and then maybe like the last four digits of the loan number. And then down here in description, you can put like Toyota Tundra if you want. Now, what you can do is if you have had a loan for a long, long time and you don't know what the original purchase price was for the depreciation, you don't know if you put money down originally and all that, you just want to create the loan in QuickBooks. The easiest thing to do is to click on enter opening balance, pick a specific date, typically the beginning of the year or when the loan happened. Enter it this way, it goes against opening balance equity. It's the other side of the account. What I'm going to teach you today is what you do if you bought it brand new and you put money down. I want to make a little change here. Um, you put a little money down and how that would look. So what we're going to do is you can do it a couple different ways. You can either write the check. So let's say we bought a vehicle for $25,000. We put $3,000 down. So we owe a loan on 25, 22 because we bought it for 25. In some ways, if you want to record all of the transaction at once, the easiest thing is to do a journal entry. So what you would do is let's say we bought it today. We would have our bank account. We took $3,000 out down payment as example then under the next account we could do the vehicle so Tundra Toyota Tundra is a vehicle you're gonna put that for the full amount of the vehicle purchase It's a little bit longer video because I'm teaching you the step-by-step -step of purchase. And you can put Tundra if you want there. You know, this is all up to you guys. I'm just doing an example. And then under here is going to be the loan. And the loan is going to be for the difference, right? Bought the car for twenty five dollars or the truck. Put $3,000 down. The loan is the difference. So then here we did Bank of America. Nine, just a number I made up. And then that is how you record it. Both sides are recorded. If you only wrote the, wrote the check and that's all you know when you first record it, you can go in and write a check to, say, Toyota. I'll just do a quick ad. It's a vendor. It's $3,000. And then that would actually go towards the Toyota asset. Then when you get the loan information, you would create a journal entry for the loan. I hope that's been helpful. I'll show you what we did. Now I saved the deposit and I saved this one. So we're actually going to show it as 28. You'll see 28 here. So when I double click on that, you'll see the original three that I said I put down from the check and this, you only want to do one or the other. You don't want to do both. 
Um, I hope this has been a bit official. If you originally put three as the checking account, what you can do is delete this line. I'm giving you guys probably too much information, but just do this as 25. So this is how you would do the loan, just what you actually owe on the loan. And now you see it still says 25. So say you wrote a check for three, your check for three towards the Toyota. Then you actually got a loan for 22. The 22 is here. It's the journal entry I just adjusted. And that's it. And then when you go to the balance, if you wanted to look at the balance sheet, you'll notice your Toyota Tundra is right here, 25. And then the loan for 22. And then if you looked at the bank account, you'll see the $3,000 coming out. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. If you have questions, I know I gave you guys a lot of extra info today. Put it down below. So I hope this is helpful. Hope I didn't give you too much information. As always, I will put the video up above for how to apply your payments. The example is slightly different because it was a different example. I did it on a piece of property is the example, but the concept still is in place. If you ever need help with QuickBooks, as always, up above on the I, as well as if you're wanting help, check out confidencewithquickbooks.com. That is my online course that you can take from the comfort of your own home. Have an amazing day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for trusting me.